Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Blake Cousins, along with our panel members, discussing the incredible new UFO videos. Just into Third Phase of Moon, the world is lighting up and people are having their eyes on the sky. So let's get to the newest videos just in. Roll it. Right. Here we are with uh, the doorbell cams. We get a lot of these in nowadays and a lot of times we have to dismiss them. And I'm not sure about this one because yes, these doorbell cams have anomalies that happen. Ghosting and tracing, you know, trails that, that uh, because the camera is not as good as it should be or you know, as a regular camera. Here's a close-up, no detail. You just don't see anything, it's too far away. But that's it, as it got brighter. The object did get brighter. It, it went from right to left, and then it looked like it faced the camera, which is why it got bright there. And then now it's going from left to right. Here, it's zoomed in, and you can see a trail behind it now. What is that? Is that debris? Is this a very slow, you know, a slow moving meteor or something or asteroid? I don't think so. I think, seriously, and I don't like to burst people's bubble, people's bubbles, because I think this is just trailing that happens on a camera that isn't very good, that is low pixelation for an object that is very far away, kind of bright, in a dark background. That's it. I, you know, look, we'll, we'll even see it again come in here. I could be wrong, okay? I don't know everything here with these cameras, but this is very common. And look at it, it's disappearing. And I don't think that is because it's a UFO cloaking itself. I think this is just the pixelation of an airplane but if it is an airplane or if it is a UFO it's very very low in the sky and I think we're gonna have our answer here look nobody knows but you can see here it's going to look like it's coming in for a landing it turns and then in about 10 seconds or so you're gonna see it by that bright light to the left a little right of it it just appears out of nowhere well, that's because of the pixelation, the lights turning back on. 
I can't say for sure, because if this is a UFO, it's very low to the ground, and I would expect many other people reporting something, unless it's in the middle of nowhere. We need more information. We don't know everything about this. Watch. Yeah, right here. This is the part where it comes in. It's still interesting. There it is. Ha, <laughs> that's very low to the ground. We can't say for sure what it is, and uh, I don't know, but nonetheless, there's some interesting anomalies from another camera. A uh, doorbell cam. This is the way it is. Now, we've got an incredible video just in from into thin air of what looks to be some kind of cube next to the sun. Are these craft harnessing energy from our star in the solar system? Go for it, Into Thin Air. Let's hear it. back everybody december 5th 2022 i hope you all had a great weekend i've got a pretty crazy video for you to look at today if you've been following my channel for any period of time you know that we cover sky phenomena not just within the earth's atmosphere but also what takes place around our sun you are looking at what they call the lasco c2 combination satellite feed i know that's a mouthful but that's what it is and time and time again some incredible things have been captured on these cameras and december 4th was no different take a look at what pops up in one of the frames and eerily looks like a cube shaped craft which has been captured before not only outside the earth's atmosphere as you could see here but also has been a phenomena in the sky that's been reported for years and years in fact if you look up the keywords borg cube b-o-r-g you will see that there is a legit history about this shape of craft being captured in many different ways in fact there was a very popular sighting in texas of few years ago of what looks like a cube either revealing itself from within a cloud or almost looked as if it was breaking the sound barrier with how the cloud is around the edges as you would see on a jet breaking into a supersonic speed. So before we dig in a little more into the discovery I made on December 4th, I wanted to give you a basic understanding and history of the different cube craft sightings, whether within the atmosphere or out in space. Now something that's unique and different about this particular capture is the detail we see within these images both in the negative format and also captured in the normal raw footage that the satellite provides it's pretty incredible you can quite literally see layers to this thing and also that front edge of the cube and in that negative version on the left you can almost see geometry to it which in many ways resembles what is now as i said called the borg cube it's been used in movies tv shows you name it it's a very popular shape and is pretty mind-blowing when you actually compare it to some of the images and replications people have come up with after seeing such a thing there's something else interesting i want to point out that i was able to capture on helio viewer which is another website where you can adjust settings and look at any of the satellite cameras that are facing the sun as i said i captured it first on the lasco c2 in somewhat of a raw form and then i went over to helio viewer which is much better quality minus the negative version and that's how i was able to get this image right here so what i want to do now is show you exactly how you can go about doing the same thing and searching for these types of images i'm going to show you exactly exactly how I was able to find this and then I want to discuss a little bit of detail that does make a significant difference. Alright, so here we are on the website helioviewer.org, a much higher quality website which gives you a much higher quality image or images than many other sites you see online. So over here on the upper left is where you would set the camera. Right now we're on Soho. We have the instrument set for Lasco, as in Lasco C2, which is where I originally found this object. And then the detector, as you can see once again, is C2. Now, as I was watching the raw version, I realized that the time that this object popped up was exactly at 11 hours, 26 minutes, and 43 seconds. And the second I punched in that time, this frame popped up, giving us a super detailed look of an actual cube near our sun. Now, as I zoom in, you're going to see this box called Earth Scale. And this is used to show you how big the Earth is compared to the sun. This black ring is set here to block out the glare so we can see what's happening on the corona of the sun, which is the outermost edge.
edges, that's how we see our CMEs, or any sort of eruptions that come from the surface of the sun. And now many times you'll see black boxes show up, and some people claim those boxes are used to block things out so we can't see them. Now this clearly is not that. There's no black whatsoever. Not only that, but it looks like there's almost a trail. You have to understand that these videos are made up of multiple images, which basically puts this in a time-lapse type video, almost in fast motion. So what we're capturing here is what looks like this object shooting up in this direction, and possibly because it's moving so fast, this one image actually shows a trail leading up to the actual object. Now let's get in real close here. So you could see that this object could possibly be much, much larger than the Earth. Now one thing that's hard to tell on these sites is depth. So we don't know if this is in front of the sun, behind the sun, so it's hard to determine whether or not we can compare it to the Earth scale here, but it just gives you a basic idea. But again, look at how you can see through this beam or trail and you can see what's behind it, which means it's almost like a blur and leads me to believe that this object was moving at the time it was captured. Now finally, let's get in real close and we could scroll over here, we can get the Earth out of the way, and just like in the negative image, you could see that front edge of the cube right here, you see a different layer about three quarters of the way up to the top of the cube. So what I did was take this image plus the negative image and all I did was enhance what's already there. I did not add anything or subtract anything. It was a simple enhancement tool that everyone has on their computers in the photo category. I'm going to leave this website in the description box of the video so you guys can go check this out on your own for as long as it stays there. Who knows? This could disappear at any moment. But once again, it's at 11 hours, 26 minutes, 43 seconds on December 4th, 2022. Now, let's take it out to Dr. J. Andy Elias from Dr. J Radio Live. Dr. J, what's your thoughts on this incredible video just since the third phase of Moon? Oh, very, very fascinating indeed. Obviously, this type of geometry-shaped craft, if it is a craft indeed, is not unusual. Uh, obviously, it's been seen before. It is on the more rare side, but just like uh, you see here before in the other visuals, this thing has been seen not just in recent history but even in ancient history go back i believe to is it nuremberg uh if there wasn't that one the wood uh, that was the wood painting from 16 something uh that shows all these orbs and sort of star wars things happening or it might be a switzerland case the point is you do see cubes in the air this also reminds me of the movie oblivion the tet right now let's talk about what this could be Going back to decades ago, Bob Lazar and stuff, you hear about different civilizations. So you have different cars here, Ford, Ferrari, Camaros, whatever, right? Dodge. You have the same stuff. Different civilizations have different types of craft. Or is it though? Because what we are finding out is that using gravity to traverse the way these craft do, it doesn't really matter what their shape is. It doesn't have to be aerodynamic. So some people are going to argue, well, this can't fly. Well, it's not flying. That's what people don't realize. Flying saucers don't fly. That's why they're not called flying saucers anymore or UFOs. It, it really, there is no flying involved. So this could be either a drone with nothing in it. This could be a craft that is occupied by beings or spirits or whatever. It could be another interdimensional device, or it could be something that is none of those indeed. Maybe it is a AI going through different dimensions, checking up on us. Because we're having this mass increase in sightings, these animals that we were talking about last week doing these crazy circles, just all this weird stuff happening around now. Maybe something's happening on another dimension or something happening here in our time, our dimension that has transcended through the rest. As we know, one dimension, something happens, the rest feel that pain, that energy, etc., and all sort of gathered to find out what's happening. Maybe that's what's happening now. This may just be something else that is currently watching us and that is, you know, whether it be a living uh, extraterrestrial, living interdimensional being, or like I said, an AI or drone. I believe it is something along the lines of one of those. Definitely, probably not human made. 
I mean, obviously a case can be. But I also want to make one last note where the object is found. I like how people have been paying attention to the sun for years, not just since photography has been invented, but going back to ancient history, people usually see crazy stuff happening near there. And I obviously you've seen images of craft going there and you see pillars of fire touching the, the sun and the craft, which essentially show or it could be speculated that the craft are sort of energizing themselves from the sun. So it pays to pay attention to the sun. So I'm not surprised that this is where this is found, which gives me the last point of why I wanted to talk about the sun. Is the sun, because of its heat and energy, a point of entry for our dimension because like i said this is ones of thousands of times that i know that different types of shaped craft different sizes have appeared there and either traveled to earth or just traveled through our solar system or just appeared near the sun so take all that i said cubes that have been seen throughout history not unusual but rare possibly an ai drone or even living breathing beings from dimensions time or uh space etc and you have the part where they're by the sun getting some energy and where they're being seen i think we're going to be seeing more of these not just these cubes but every sort of anomaly so everybody out there keep paying attention keep submitting and please tell us what you think thanks again guys Dr. J from Dr. J Radio Live. Appreciate your participation in this episode, giving us your thoughts of what the phenomenon is. Now, we want to bring in Ellen Girl 111. She's participating in the panel member discussion in regards to the phenomenon. Ellen Girl, what's your thoughts? On December 4th, the Lasco Combination satellite took this image uh, that's been delivered through the Helios Viewer. The Helios Viewer is an open source scientific data repository from various solar observatories from around the world. And it was pinpointed that this cube like object was found in one of the images reported on December 4th. If we look at this image, it does look cube-like in structure. Cube-like structures have been reported by experiencers. So the cube-like structure is something that we have seen through multiple different UFO reporting organizations. That being said, it's interesting that this allegedly interstellar object is so close to the sun. Interesting because the sun is a source of power. If these I if these craft, if these if these beings are going and they're using the sun to get the energy that they need to power those craft, and that could very well be that this is something extraterrestrial in nature. Or it could be very well something like an interstellar object that's moving past the sun. But when we review past NASA images past images from telescopes we see this theme occurring over and over and, over. and that theme is that we find these images of unidentified objects outside of the sun some of these images we've even seen of ufos flying into the sun so this cube-like structure could be a variety of things but considering it was picked up by all sorts of solar observatories and scientists from all across the world it's hard to say that this isn't something we should notice because there's something out there and it might just be right in front of us. Thanks, Amy from Ellen Girl 111. Uh, appreciate your thoughts and your opinions in regards to the phenomenon. It really means a lot. I appreciate everybody joining us in our latest episode right here at Third Phase of Moon. It's been our pleasure bringing you the latest evidence from around the world. And if you've captured anything amazing out there, don't hesitate, upload that video to YouTube, copy paste that link to my email. Who knows, maybe you'll see your video right here at Third Phase of Moon and the world can decide what it is. This is Third Phase of Moon along with our panel members. Everybody be safe out there. Keep your eyes on the skies. Blake Cousins, we'll see you next time.